the Patti Paterno Library at Penn State. It's one of the largest university libraries in the world. It even has a Starbucks. But campus didn't always look this way. Like almost every other part of the U.S., the Penn State campus has undergone many changes since the college was founded in 1855. Many buildings have been constructed, destroyed, or replaced at Penn State. One of those victims to time was Hunt Cottage. Built in 1891, Hunt Cottage was used for many things, including housing and administrative offices. Sometime in the early 20th century, the building was renamed to Florence Benedict Cottage. In 1973, the Florence Benedict Cottage was destroyed to make room for a library expansion. To help imagine where the building would stand today, I have constructed an architectural model and placed it in the real world. Florence May Benedict was the first woman to graduate Penn State with a degree in home economics in 1909. Although Benedict Cottage has been destroyed, Florence Benedict's legacy persists. Shortly after the cottage was demolished, Penn State built a new home economics house, also named for Florence Benedict. This house can be found on the southeast of campus. Although Hunt Cottage has long been destroyed, its memory remains in the photographs and documents stored in the library which caused its destruction. Music